our mission really has three main and distinct parts. Education, prevention, intervention, and we like to think of it in that order. More people die in rip currents than die in tornadoes or hurricanes or some of those other disasters. Family local here went to the inlet. They had a seven-year-old little girl. Seven o'clock at night, they let her go swimming in the ocean. Rip current pulled the girl out. The family was helpless on the beach, watched their seven-year-old drown, dead. Today is the beginning of the greatest adventure of your life. You're in training. I'm stoked. Okay. Uh, I wish it was a little warmer. warmer. The water's gonna be cold this okay, week and week probably week. for the end of May, early June, it's gonna be cold, but uh, there's nothing like Ocean City Beach Patrol. There's just nothing like professionalism and the significance that the job has. Once you injure the cervical vertebrae due to that impact to the ocean, that's the most severe. Due to your care and your expertise and this skill, they might be able to walk again. It was just sucking out all day and I have 12 rescues that day. Just broke his C1 too. Um, literally, he was dead. We, we drug him out of the, the surf, gave him CPR, and as we were giving him CPR, he, he just came back too, and that was just amazing. And when I got there, the lady was still afloat, but the man was under. So I just had to pick him up from under and then I waited because the current was cranking so hard I needed help to swim them both in. You really do grow up as a guard. Um, whether you're a 17 year old, uh, immature, self-centered you know, brat, um, or even a college student who comes in and you know, thinks they're pretty high and mighty because they made the beach patrol, you really get a sense of humbleness. So that was the first moment that I realized, okay, this is more than just a summer job. You know, you're really affecting the way you can affect the life of somebody, and that's that's pretty heavy for you know a 19, 20 year old kid. I was only a sixteenth of an inch from being paralyzed the rest of my life. If the, if Grayson or any of the other lifeguards would have twisted my neck in the wrong manner or didn't support me, dragging me to hoy up on you know that bank, I'd have been paralyzed because my neck was broke. So I think that there's like a misconception around a lot of people that we aren't really doing anything. I, I was scared. I, I honestly thought I was going to lose my voice. You, you saved our lives.